Let's switch gears now and go to Lagos, where a former Equity State Governor, Governor Yadele Fayoshe, has been with us. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for your patience, and it's good to see you again. Uh, thank you for coming on the program. L let me begin tonight's conversation by asking you. There was somewhere, a lot of people describe it in your party as an open rebellion uh, against the position of your party on the presidential race. You openly campaigned somewhat for another political party. Would you say that rebellion paid off, or how would you describe such a rebellion, if that is the case? Well, she will let me just uh, thank Nigerians for this opportunity to speak my mind. Like I always say, it is time to separate what we want for Nigeria and what we want for a political party. I have no apology for my actions now and in the future. Let me remind you again, Shewon, I have not eaten my respect for Ashwa Dubola Metunumbu. I had started while I was in office. And I say such because if they are going to talk about Nigeria today, Ashwa will be one of the leading lights that will be there. In the north, northern Nigeria, when they want to talk about their country, what they do simply is to make sure that the, their foremost leaders are, are promoted to be able to stand the test of time. Ashwagyu is a member of the APC. Many people in Nigeria have been confronted with what they had said at different times. And they, they, they either recount or say something new. I stand there to tell you, I will never, ever be, be a member of the APC. I am not in politics for what it is anymore. God has given me a fair opportunity to lead a kitty two, two times and defeating two incumbents. Nigeria is not a country we now take for granted. You will see by the outcome of this election that a lot of people are displaced as a result of taking this country for granted. The young people did not hide their disdain. They went for the leader's neck and took out the neck. They sacked them and occupied the space. Let me tell you again, this is a warning. And further warning, for those people coming in and those people returning, that if you mess with the people, mm. they will mess with you for your time. So, Governor Fayashi, let me let me quickly let ask me, you what yes. you, you risk uh, on the question you, you asked. Support, you, yes, hold on a second. Yeah. You asked me a question. You said an open rebellion in my party. With all respect, my party was not prepared for that election. My party was not prepared for that election. How do you mean? We were they, they prepared fed, to fail. Yeah, they fed, they fed the candidate. I stand there that our party was a fractured party. You are, it's, it's, it, will be, it will be playing to the gallery to say you are not aware that Obi was a former member of the PDP. You will be, say, you will be fooling yourself to say that the G5 governors are not members of the PDP. You will be wasting your time that when, Tam, when Kwan Kwan Sol left the party after the Northern Northwest Convention, I mean, Congress, that the end will be a positive one. What we saw was what we reaped. The arrogance of the people around our candidates. You will recall that after the primary, the first thing I you said, I you said was, Tambua was the hero of the convention. So they are both heroes now. They are heroes. They can, they can now eat the party, except some of, some of our leaders humble themselves. 
we are going nowhere. Governor Farage, let me ask so you. Let me you, 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 you risk, there is nothing you to, risk there is loyalty. Nothing. Yeah, just a moment. You Why risk we... you risk loyalty to your party in support of Bolatinubu of the APC. So this is a cross party line. In support of Why, Nigeria. Why did you do in so? Support what make of you Nigeria. what make you uh, what was the reason why you you stuck it right out for him? Listen, my support was not for Achiwa Jumbola made totally. My support was for the, the power must shift to the south. Power must shift to the south. On, on my Twitter handle, I said it six months ago. It is time for the south. But Bola, 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 Bola was not north. the only candidate from the south. Pete Obi is another candidate there. from the south. Yeah. I am I, I'm coming there. I'm coming there. Bola Tino, uh, President Buhari represented the interest of the North, while Ashwaji Bola Ahmed and Peter Obi represent the interest of the South. They symbolized the South. At the last meeting of G5 stakeholders, it was concluded that we should, we should work for either Ashwaji or, or, or Obi, depending on the peculiarity of your state. With all due respect, the, 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 the Igbos and the reasonable number of the South-South went out for OB. Then for me as a Southerner as, and a Southwest man, what do you expect of me? To stay there and say, Ashwa, you should be murdered uh, politically. Uh, that was why I had to comment back in the day on this program. Commend him very well. At the expense of his future, he stood the ground for Ashwajo Abed Balatinumbo. Let me say to you very clearly when Ashwajo Abed Balatinumbo came back after a, a leg surgery, I was the one that went to body loan. I posted a picture. I, do, I don't be people, I, I'm not people's friends hiding. And I said to you, Wiki is my friend. I freely and willingly stood by Wiki and the Jew five because I was convinced that their, man, their demands were fair, fair, and fair to the country. But when you want somebody, don't jump down from the roof. The tenth floor, <clears throat> you will die. The PDP and the candidate jumped down from the tenth floor. Today, it is either a rally or the court. Let us wait for that time. All right. So let me let me ask you. When you there defeat be... somebody in Nigerian oh, politics, yeah, politically, Governor Fayoshi. When you defeat somebody in Nigerian politics, let me tell you the truth. It is better for you to wield your defeat, though. In this one you are talking about is an after thought to after lunch. After lunch, when you are shouting court, 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 the other people will be looking at you to go and take over the court ahead of them. You are saying somebody rigged. I I listened to the governors of of um, Bauchi just now and the opposition. They were trading blames of rigging. So who rigged who? In, in Lagos here, yeah, they are said they, they rigged or they stopped, they stopped the Igbos or the Labour Party and all that. I stand there to be corrected. In the East, during the election, it was war between even the Igbos, like you saw between the Alsace and the, and, the, and, the, and the West. So don't tell me, don't tell me there's an innocent politician here. And stop condemning my leg. In 2018, when they then they read my election, I, I was shouting. Majority of them, I would say, well, how she has come again? How she has come again? What goes around has come around. So you God, can't blame my neck. Let me tell you today. The simple reason is this. There are stakeholders in every journey. There's, there's INEC, there's security agencies, 
go further to look at other stakeholders. Will I not carry firearms to stop this violence? Will I not stop them from doing vote buying? What will I not do? Not until the political class humble themselves, stop blaming I know. So, Governor Fauci, let me, let, me, let me jump in quickly. Uh, let, me, let me jump in quickly. 1984, yeah. 1983, they were, they were appealing to Chief Awolowo, Zeke, and others to come together. The moment they lost that election, they did not they did not come together until they lost. So you saw Zeke now addressing the press with the three of them. Don't you now see uh, chairman of Labour Party and the uh, IU talking together? They are jokers. No, Yeah. So let me ask you quickly. Go on, go what, on, go what, on, what was the trade-off? Because I know politicians, if there is an alignment across party line, there are possibility of a trade-off. Uh, you give me, I give you. For the support across party line, what was exactly the trade-off uh, for the support for Bola Tinubu from the members and leaders of the uh, PDP? Members and leaders of what? I can't hear you. Of the PDP. The question I'm asking is, you and some of your friends, some of the G5 governors, uh, you mentioned that Governor Markine also uh, stuck his neck for uh, uh, Bola Tinubu. And I'm asking, what was the trade-off? What was it that uh, you guys agreed upon? What was the agreement for the support? I, 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 I am a, I'm a former governor. I can't hear you well. I'm a former governor. I skew behind sitting governors. And when they go to meetings, I, I, am, I am not part of a meeting. My position is when I follow people, I am, I am totally in submission. The directive was that we should go and support the Southern candidates because this is the position of the governors and the leaders of talks. And the southern candidates were OB and governor and the, and the president elect. And I've done justice. I am not desperate for any appointment. You know, I'm, I am somebody who will not cringe because of a piece of me. Don't mind whatever little boy says. In two million Nigerians have been governor twice. I am contented. But for anybody to say you will sit at Ahmed Bola Tinubu, you are the dreamy. You are daydreaming. It's, it's, it's a nightmare you are putting yourself through. That election has come and gone. All right. In America, yeah. in America, today, clear, uh, uh, the, the former president is still saying he was rigged. He that will come to a kitty must have clean hands. So, Governor Fauci, we, we just today have... In Nigeria, yeah, we just have... 30, that election has yeah. come and gone. We have 30 seconds. But you liberty to go to court. Yeah. We have 30 seconds to go, Governor Fayoshe. If you are to tell Bola to know. 30 seconds is that uh, <laughs> let everybody prepare for 2027. <laughs> you see, these, these things are not uh, Tea Party. We are all guilty in this country. We are all guilty. You see, the system, let me tell you the truth. The system, we need to sit down again, politicians, and allow the system to run. Don't stop blaming INEC. Stop blaming INEC. I neck this, I neck that, they rip, rip. If you had won, would you be doing rally? If you do rally for, we will, we will, we will do against. If you do All against, right. we will do for. All right. Ashwagi is already president. Those governors had won election. When I, when I lost in 2018, they said I should go to court. Those who lost, go to court. All right. Governor Fauci, many thanks indeed for your time. It's good to see you. And I implore you, I please, do. when you have the time, let's sit down in the studio together and talk some more, please. Thank you so much, Governor Adele Fauci. Always a Thank pleasure you very much. having God you around. You, Thank you so much.